New developments in the Las Vegas shooting overnight. Thousands gathered at a vigil for Charleston Hartfield, an off-duty police officer who died saving lives at the Route 91 Harvest Festival. And this morning, we're now learning more about the gunman, Stephen Paddock. Investigators trying to determine if he was scouting targets in Boston and Chicago. And they're also uncovering more about his secret life. Our chief investigative correspondent, Brian Ross, is here with all of those details. Good morning, Brian. Well, good morning, Amy. Officials this morning say Las Vegas prostitutes have provided perhaps the most telling profile of Stephen Paddock, known by them as a regular customer, a man without emotion and cheap except it seems when it came to his plans for mass murder. Paddock spared no expense in the attack, even considering tra travel to other targets in Chicago and Boston. According to law enforcement officials, he booked rooms but never checked in at Chicago's Blackstone Hotel in August, the same dates as the Lollapalooza Festival across the street in Grant Park, attracting hundreds of thousands of people, including one of President Obama's daughters. Officials also tell ABC News he conducted a Google search for hotels around Fenway Park in Boston. The ballpark's capacity, nearly 38,000 people. Instead, he stayed close to home, where there was nothing cheap about his attack preparations. Experts say the weapons found in his hotel suite were high-end and high-powered, the kind used by U.S. Special Forces and commandos. Officials tell ABC News some of the ammo was bought under a name not his, leading to speculation of a possible accomplice. There's people that know this individual. There's people that could help us understand this individual. And the FBI got some insight about Paddock from an unlikely place, the Reno car dealership where he bought this car on August 1st, paying cash with a check for $14 thousand four hundred eleven dollars not a sign of someone with financial problems mary lou even wanted to get a lexus but he was like i'm not going to spend ten thousand dollars more for a car that's got the exact same equipment and when danley went on a test drive she told the salesperson that paddock had saved her from a troubled marriage she said she had a, a bad relationship prior to him and how he had you know turned her life around and really helped her out after a full day of questioning on Wednesday by the FBI, officials this morning say they still have more questions for Mary Lou Danley, who maintains she had no idea her live-in boyfriend was making plans to kill so many people. And Brian, what about the other woman, this mystery woman we've heard so much about who may have spent some of those final days with Paddock? Have we learned anything more about who that is? Authorities believe she was a lady of the evening, one of many who knew Mr. Paddock well. All right, Brian, thank, thank you.